Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In this video, it might take several videos to accomplish what I want to accomplish. Somebody sent me this file and this picture. And this is pretty cool clock because it actually has the uh, 12 digits of the clock, just different variations. You want to know how to create it. And for the one I'm doing it for, first of all, you had your nudge factor set pretty funny. And I like to draw everything in here line. So with nothing selected, I'm gonna double click on my graphic and go here line, yours is it that, and I want it in red. And, and you'll see why in just a second. Now, it's easier to start on something that's got a flat side so we're gonna rotate it 30 degrees to get this to the bottom. I'm gonna take away that indexing line and just kind of looking at the picture, I didn't know where to start. So I'm gonna take a four-sided pentagon, polygon, and just kind of make an arrow. And then just kind of place it on my drawing just to see how close I am and we're gonna shorten it up just a hair. And I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna use the control button to move it down. You know what I'm also gonna do? I'm gonna set my nudge factor on 12. I also made your clock like 12 inches. I'm gonna move that out of the way for a second. I'm gonna put this in the center of the page because I only want half that line. So I'm gonna take an indexing line and bring it in and hit P. Then I'm gonna delete with the virtual segment delete key one side of that. Now I can move this back and then move this down because I only want one side of this drawing. We, we can put another straight bar in the middle. Now I'm going to change my nudge distance and that's where I found out your nudge distance was wrong to like, Point two five, let's say, see what happens. Control D and move it over. That might work. Let's go, let's back up here. Let's go point two. And let's nudge that over. Make one more. Now in the in the picture. The bottom ones are coming to a point and the top ones are staggered. So we've got them kind of staggered up top. And I don't think your drawing is, this is a little, this is a little bigger than the drawing. So if you want this exact replica, cause you've got to leave some room for the, for the uh, wood to be cut out. So now we're gonna take the shape tool and we're gonna bring, first of all, get rid of that node, get rid of the center nodes. And now we're gonna bring this to there. We're gonna bring this, trying to grab it. And I, I'm not going to say I'm going to be able to duplicate that 100%, but we're going to get pretty close. Now I'm actually going to try to bring the other ones in a little bit. So let's get rid of these nodes. We could, I could probably convert the whole thing to a line, but it'd be just as easy to just click on here and get rid of these nodes. And this will be another little trick. So we knew we nudged it 0.2. Let's go 0.1. Take our nudge tool, just click on that and nudge it over. That'll look good. Nudge it over. I mean, no matter of fact, nudge one on the first one, three on the second, or th I can't talk and type. That looks really good. I think that's gonna work. Now, let's take these lines and go to effects in contour, and we're gonna contour to the outside 0.05, and because it's a line, it's gonna give us contours on both sides. 
What we're trying to make now is the wood cutout. I'm having a little bit of trouble selecting the lines. One more. And I could see that looking back at the picture, uh, that isn't going to work exactly like I want it. And I think it's because you've got, this is a lot bigger. So when you make it for yourself, maybe reduce that. Because in a clock, you need just about a couple inches. Let's see uh, what size we have here. See, there's three inches. You could make that two inches and still have a clock part in there. But we're not gonna worry about it right now. And also, we're gonna select everything and break it all apart. Now I'm gonna delete those center lines. What I'm doing is making the, the, the pieces of wood to cut out. Okay. Now let's group this together, control G. Let's mirror it and I've changed my object origin to the right hand side. Whoop. I did group it together. There we go. I didn't make a duplicate of it. Control D. Let me go back. Okay, control D. Now, now, so that's what we got, and it worked out pretty well. For some reason, it's not in the center. So what I'm going to do is group that together, control G, and hit P and put it in the center of the page, and then using the control button to bring it down. So I, because I want that in the center of that. Now, don't worry about anything right now. We've got it grouped together, control D and make a duplicate. And that's where I found out your duplicate was off. Move that rotation to the center and rotate it 60 degrees. Control D, control D, control D, control D. Now take all this and weld it. Voila, we're halfway there. Use the smart fill tool to see what it's gonna look like. That looks pretty good. Now, I should have maybe brought the pieces or more joined together for the actually ticks of the clock. I should have brought these in closer. But that looks pretty good, and we need to just do one more little deal, and I'll make that in a second video. But that's kind of a neat project, kind of fun to play with. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.